well signal flow graphs are, are found in control and instrumentation test books and today we are going to deal with non-touching loops particularly non-touching loops for you to get the transfer function you're supposed to first get the the total number of forward path for example in this case we have two forward paths that is g1 g2 g3 g4 and g1 g5 those are the forward paths then you get the the transfer function of individual loops for example you see that we have we have like four individual loops the non-touching loops these are the loops that do not touch the forward path for example you have p11 times p133 now to get the delta delta is equals to one minus sum of individual loops plus two plus sum of two non-touching loops for example it's one plus g1 g2 g g2 h3 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g4 h1 plus g5 h1 h2 plus g1 g2 g g4 h3 h1 the transfer function is p1 delta 1 plus p2 delta 2 over the delta the forward parts are the the ones you write on the upper part that is the numerator the denominator you're supposed to write the delta value for example that is 1 plus g1 g2 g3 and then that's the transfer function hope this one has helped you i'll quickly be looking forward to post and touching loops to show you how it works and how things change feel free to subscribe to the channel thank you